Hello everyone! Today I will show you what is Adobe Firefly and how you could use it. Make sure to watch this video until the end and you would know all the tools and how you could use them. Welcome back and thank you for watching my channel and subscribing to it. Who is here first time? I am Daria Kos, a fashion photographer who is based in Miami. Adobe Firefly right now in beta version, it's AI engine by Adobe. You could use it right now for free, so you just need to sign up to your Adobe account. There is a lot of cool tools and most of them right now available just to use in, in the browser, but we have already seen some of them, how it was possible to use in Adobe Photoshop beta version. You can check it out on this video. So first of all, what we could see here, it's text to image. When you open it here, you could see some preview of what other people was doing. Also, it's very important to understand when you sign up there, they also say that you're not allowed to use those images created by Adobe Firefly in commercial use. Wow, this one is very nice. I like this idea too. Let's try to create something. I'd love to continue creating my idea, which I was doing in another video with Photoshop beta version, and try to see what we could get with Adobe Firefly. My idea was to create in, uh, more like photograph, not the art, like golden retriever catching the food in the air. Just pressing generate. What I would say really cool about Adobe Firefly and what is also separating it from even mid-journey, you have here uh, tool settings where you could choose style, content type, aspect ratio, um, color and tone, lighting, composition. We will check everything right now. So first of all, if you're choosing like none for content type, it would generate like different type of images. It's kind of cool. This one very nice. It looks like photograph, I would say. And actually, Adobe using their own stock library. Uh, I would say AI using it like inspiration to get in from there. So that's why I would say here you could get more like real photographs. It's already good, but let's check it out what we can do different here. The one problem when I would check, change right now even from none to photo, it will regenerate all the photographs. Before we would check any aspects, I really like this right image in the corner. I just like to see what different options she could generate for us. So right now it's supposed to generate similar images. I like this one. I know, I was trying a few times Adobe Firefly and every time when I like the image and trying to find kind of same, similar, but a little bit better, it's still always generating kind of worse than the one I really love. Let's try if I use it like a reference image, what it would do. Okay, now it's working better. I would say this one is perfect, I would just maybe change the foot and fix this part because it look like kind of weird. So if I have in one image like reference, which I really like, what about if we try to switch it for the photo, what it would do? I wouldn't say that it started to be more like real, but also interesting thing, if you change aspect ratio, it would also do like totally different image. For example, if we try to do landscape, let's see. I think this one is good. I choose to start with this one and do it more like a photograph because I see that it could be very difficult to generate, especially it's dark in the movement. Also, hair should be drawn really good. I mean, not like, not really drawing, but having it like a picture and also how you could see for AI it's a little bit difficult working with the pause or sometimes with the teeth. So it's really interesting what we could generate today. I personally really like working with Mid Journey. It's doing beautiful images, but it's still not a photograph. 
and let me know in the comments below if you would like me to compare Midjourney and Adobe Firefly with the same prompt what we could generate if it would be the same or what would be better when you're working with AI you like working with very talented graphic designer but he always changed like everything for example I just wanted to be not in the grass but maybe in the forest but it will regenerate my dog as well uh, I would say it's kind of an issue for example I like this dog but I just want different background Wow, I actually like my dog in the forest much more. <laughs> I don't know why, but, but forest looks more realistic. It still there is the problems right here, by the, where the tea is going on, the paws looking great here. I mean, still it's something we could work with. For example, we could save this photo, go into Photoshop and fix the other details, but it still you should have some skills and an ability to work in the Photoshop. It's not like you're generating like perfect, perfect image for using it. Let's also try, there is a lot of different styles and one of my favorite one is steampunk. You can see that it's added here, the style. Look at this hair, oh my God. I would like it still to generate like very, very good image. So I will set which one I don't like and which one I like and then we will try to generate kind of similar so we will see what it will do that's so crazy <laughs> I mean it's not even a dog I will just save this one I really like it the hair here it's look amazing wow and the main idea today is it possible to AI replace photographers at all I don't think so. Maybe for some kind of like stock images it could work, but still, as you could see, it still need to get some work done after you generate this image. And as I said before, you cannot use those images in commercial use as for today, but I think it would be possible very soon. What about if we would try to work with the person. How it will go? Because I think it's really hard for AI to generate the person and like working with the skin and looks realistic again. I say this one is very nice, but there is some problem with the face, arms. Oh my God, that's so bad with the face. All of them so I decided to switch it for photo so probably it would look more realistic again because we're working with the person a lot of issues with the face but this one face is looking fine arms is problem and body looks kind of weird almost perfect still the problem with the hands we have only one option to choose from the style you could choose several but for color and tone, lighting and composition, you could use only one. I like the face here of the model, but arm looks weird, hands looks weird, here not understandable what's going on. So I would say for working with the person, it's still like really hard for AI to generate a good image. But to be honest with you, I think that we are right now on this kind of point that for the stock photography, it would be harder to sell in the images, especially with the AI when you could generate a lot of different images. And I think that it would be better and better over the years. And even right now it's producing really great images and maybe it's not really working perfectly with the persons like live subject like pets but what about kind of product photography let's try to generate lipstick hmm I was asking to do red lipstick it making more fuchsia color kind of my favorite but still this one it's looked perfect especially for the product photography when you should do this perfect like highlights 
It's even probably easier than editing out the lipstick from the shot which you did, just like saving from here, copying it and pasting there. That already looks perfect, it looks like real image. Let's adjust it a little bit. What about if we're doing it like a photo? Again, we're trying to do as much as possible realistic image today. I really love this idea with the shade. All of them look really nice. I wouldn't say that it's changing a lot on these images of the lipstick because even from very beginning it was looking perfect. What I really like using Mid Journey and maybe Adobe Firefly could be a really great tool for this too. Like an inspiration, creating something that is not really existing. Because for me, as a person in art industry, I have some kind of image in my head and it's hard to explain it. So using some kind of prompt, text to image, and it could create something, generate like visually speak with the clients. Let's try to create cake design. Oh wow, it's still not like a photo, but it's creating more interesting images. I really like this kind of design. I think that's a great example showing how it's changing from graphic, art and photo. Still go to the photo. It still looks kind of not a photo, it's more like an art, but I think it's more realistic one. Let's just adjust a little bit the prompt. And at least for now, when it's in beta version, you can generate as much as possible. It's free, comparing to Mid Journey, where you should pay probably for the year to generate it as much as possible you want it. I would also try to maybe add some styles. I like kind of this style, it looks very cool and interesting. If you have already used Mid Journey, let me know in the comments below what do you think about Adobe Firefly comparing to Mid Journey and if I should compare it to. But as for now, I would say it's really good with the art kind of object. So let's see what other tools Adobe Firefly could offer to us. Before we move to the next tool, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. The other very popular tool in Adobe Firefly is text effects and I would say it's only one AI who is working with the text and again like comparing to Mid Journey, it's not working with the text at all. So let's try what we could do here and what the things it's possible to do. Again, here you could see like inspiration images, what's possible to do. I would try to do my new logo, Daria Cosa. It's kind of same design, like you're working with text to image. Here, the one difference from the left side, what kind of text you'd like to have. And from the right side, you're writing your prompt to this text. Okay, it's not bad. Look at this. Here you also could see like four different options. Let's check them out, all of them. Okay. I think this one is my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's hard to decide right now. I think we should choose background first. You have like different like options of colors. Uh, it's very sad for me that you don't have color circle and you can choose exactly color you would like to have. But I hope that Adobe will update this soon. There's also different like shapes. Right now we have the medium. Let's try what about if we do it loose. It's kind of a little bit too much. But if it will be tight, it will stay just exactly where the letters is. I think the medium is the perfect one because I kind of like we kind of working with water so it's a little bit like loose but this one is super crazy. Maybe if it's a different one it would be better. Okay. There is also different options of font which you could use. Let's try other ones. 
I wouldn't say there's a lot of options, but there is some of them. I think in the future it will be more and more different fonts. I think this one is my favorite one. What about if we do decay but more loose? I think it's really nice. Uh, I would say I'd love to have like more options to generate and working with the text, more fonts and more, um, as I said, like hold the color range. But actually it's really nice and it could be usable. We already figure out how to use text effects and before we will try generative fill right here. Uh, let's see what other things here you could find. Right now it's also available generative recolor and very soon it's other things. What is more interesting, I think it's personalized results, which is saying it's generate images based on your own objects and or style. It sounds really nice. Uh, what unique things they have here? I think it's text to pattern. It could be a really nice idea of creating unique and unusual pattern and especially what uh, the most interesting thing for me to try is text to brush creating the brush and i really can't wait to use it and try it adobe would adapt this new ai to all the products they have adobe said that they would have like text to music which sounds crazy i cannot wait to see how it could work and honestly, it's super scary how the world is changing right now with all those technologies and AI generation. But at the same time, don't be afraid to try it and use it in, at your work and also learning how to use it, how to work with the prompts and how to find the right language, like speaking with the AI. Imagine that you are an art director and you have a very unique person working for you and you have just prompt to speak with this person. And also other cool thing, in today's world we have so much different AIs and for example ChatGPT could help you write in the prompt for Adobe Firefly or Mid Journey and that's really cool. Let me know in the comments below if you have already tried it and how it was working for you. Let's today also cover generative field, which is available right here. I think my personal opinion, it could be a really nice, useful tool for now for some people who is not like professional editors and they have image. It wants to change the background or there is something on the background they doesn't want to have and it could be very helpful just in one click. Let's check it out. Let's try to work with the background. Oh my God, you saw one click, even less than second. I would say that's the tool which the brands could definitely use, especially for, for example, like for e-commerce, for product photography, just Clean the background in one click and putting it on the white one. That was easy. I'm surprised. I'm just thinking what kind of background I could replace. I just don't want to do like boring studio again, maybe at the moon. I'm so excited what it could be because I was trying to do kind of same with the Photoshop, better version, it wasn't so good. It's even worse, honestly. <sighs> that's kind of interesting, but it's not what I wanted. I mean, that's look like a poster from the 90s. I would try to s leave kind of same prompt, but for the strength, I said, forget about, about the original image, use more the prompt. Let's try what it would be. Ah, uh, this one is... Something to be honest with you, I thinking that generative field is still something should work more. Let's try to change my hair color, like we already did in this video about a better version of Photoshop. Cute. <laughs> Let's say red hair. 
it's so exciting and scary at the same time i'm like i don't know what to expect oh my gosh that's look weird that's look kind of weird this is good i don't like this kind of volume and hairstyle but it replaces it really nice who is this mermaid we could keep this and maybe let's add my pet friend here i hope that it will be just close up of the dog <gasps> oh hello cutie <laughs> it didn't get that i wanted like holding my pet friend but this one is so cute now i have a new pet friend and red hair i'm thinking there is some issues for adobe like working with the moon surface but overall it's changed my hair color perfectly i would still like to work with the shape but we could go to the photoshop and work with this and also i really like my new pet friend it's looking great and looks very real and honestly for my opinion it's really great and nice tool for using if you're not having a photoshop and just wanted to create or adjust your image like simply how i did in few steps and it wasn't taking a long time and it created great images for your social media you could uh, post photographs with different hair color with some different props you could also add in something for example if you was having photo shoot at the beach you could also add like kind of like picnic style like adding some fruits flowers it could be great inspiration just to adjust and even your image in few clicks if you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to give a like to me and subscribe to my channel turn on notification so you will be the first one who will know about my new video see you next time